two new storms moving across the country. As the Northeast digs out from that slow moving nor'easter, parts of New Jersey are waking up under two and a half feet of snow. And the snow is still coming down in some places. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z is in Manhattan this morning with more. Uh, Ginger, what's the latest on this storm? When is it gone? Yeah, we're not done. Uh, it's already been some 36 hours. It'll be 48 hours for most people when it's finally said and done. Right behind me, Diane, we are enshrined in what is now the biggest storm in five years. And by this afternoon, after we get another inch or so, we could make into the top 10 snowfalls of all time here in New York City. So it's a big deal from here back to Pennsylvania and New Jersey, where we saw well over uh, 30 inches of snow in some places. So look at some of the numbers. I just want to bring you the, the numbers like Newton, New Jersey at 32 inches, Nazareth, Pennsylvania, 31 inches, even Wilmington, Massachusetts, picking up 20 inches. And it really depended on how much mixing you ended up having. So Boston had quite a bit. They only ended up with a couple inches, but just to their northwest, it was like a foot and plus. Now, we still have winter storm warnings that stretch all the way down into West Virginia. Washington, D.C. this morning has a winter weather advisory because those wraparound snow bands are going to be with us through today and even early tomorrow into New England. Then we will finally say goodbye to this storm, but not before it leaves another couple of inches. And in some of the highest elevations uh, up in New England, you could still pick up a half foot to a foot on top of what you've already had. So a pretty epic one here to start February, Diane. And Ginger, I know that you're watching these two news storms this morning. What can we expect on that front? It's hard to even imagine it with so many people dealing with the kind of snow they are right now. Right, trying to get out of something like this. Remember, we had two to three and a half inch per hour snowfall rates yesterday. So I don't think we'll see that with the new storms, but we do have new ones to watch. And this is where it's going to start getting really active and feeling like you're just getting punch, punch, punch. Uh, that new storm will make its way across, I think, a mix in Chicago, snow all the way up to Traverse City, Michigan, more of like a rain event from Indianapolis to the south. But there's another one right behind it. That's going to make its way across through the weekend, and it's going to be quick through the Midwest. West, but then it'll kind of wrap up here in the Northeast and we could have more snow by Super Bowl Sunday. And this is the big deal behind all of that big time Siberian push of air. Polar Express is on. It feels like nearly 60 below in the Northern Plains. It'll feel like almost 50 below in Minneapolis on Sunday morning. Chicago ends Northwest Indiana waking up to feels like about 35 below. So February is no joke so far, Diane. All right. Well, it is Groundhog Day, but we are relying on our meteorologist for our weather forecast instead. Ginger, thank you. That's right. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.